Here's my DIY PCB. Looks so bad. I will write the JLC PCB prototype. Now let's compare side by side. On the left side is DIY PCB and on the right is a prototype PCB from GLC PCB. You can see many broken trays after the aging but in the prototype PCB looks so good with no broken trays. Then between the top layer, bottom layer and silk screen, sometimes it doesn't match. Look at this. And this. I wanna show you simple verses. Look at this. This is a good trace. But if we check this is a broken looks in this this good good but this broken maybe in here look at this is good 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 now let's compare the price. My DIY PCB spent one dollar and sixteen cent for one PCB because the rest is not enough to be used. Look at this. It means if you order ten PCBs from GLC for two dollar, it only costs. 20 cent for one piece it's cheaper right not only that because the PCB you get is the best quality and it's have good standard with a variety of masking color now what about the time spent for waiting the PCB example from China to Indonesia or other country one week from China to Indonesia? I think it's no problem. When you make DIY PCB, you will spend time trying several times until you can produce a PCB that's really good without defects. And sometimes you will spend more money if the trace broken and defects. Make it again and again. Now I will build this low pass filter and testing for you. Check the Gerber file in the description. Now I join with my OCL amplifier. This. I will show you the frequency response of this low pass filter with ping noise. I will adjust from the very very low subwoofer or very low frequency
12 o'clock Do you hear? Use your headphone Back to low Ok guys Now This is with the music Use your headphone To hear the low frequency It's very low This is the mid bus. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video. Bye bye.